Update 1.8 is here, and it brings new additions to Hunt Showdown. The new addition that I'm sure you're most interested in is probably the new shotgun and pistol. The new shotgun is the Winfield 1893 Slate, a 6-round pump-action shotgun. Clearly this shotgun competes with the Spectre shotgun, but honestly, it isn't much of a competition. The Winfield 1893 is an upgrade in every way except damage, where it lacks by 5 points. It packs more rounds, faster rate of fire, and requires less perk investment than the Spectre. It hits hard, and shotgun enjoyers are going to love this addition. The other newly added weapon is the Caldwell 92 New Army, a 6 round double action revolver. It's definitely a competitor to the Officer Nagant, but again, I think this new addition completely outperforms it. It does have a slower rate of fire, but the recoil. I mean, the recoil. And you can bring FMJ rounds with the 92 New Army, so overall, this may be my new go to sidearm. There's also been a few changes to certain compounds, the most noticeable changes being those to Cypress Huts and the Chapel of Badana Noir. Cypress has gained a lot more cover and less water around the southern edge of the compound, while the chapel has received a new entrance and a basement overhaul. I think these changes are long overdue and very welcome. Prior to this update, I would actively avoid both of these compounds as I hated fighting at them. But with these recent changes, I look forward to seeing how different fights will be from here on out. And finally, some server and client side improvements have been rolled out with this update. In a nutshell, performance of the game should improve because of some tweaking on the back end. So, overall, the changes I'm most happy to see are the server and client side fixes. I still firmly believe that prioritizing optimization on the client and server side will greatly increase the enjoyability of the game and will help hunt in the long run. The new weapon additions are pretty cool, if not a little busted, and the map changes are solid and very welcome. Now with all that out of the way, here's a bit of gameplay to wrap up the video.